Okay, so we have we have Diani. We have Diani. Good morning, colleagues, senatorial, central staff, testifiers, and our listening and viewing audience. The Committee on Government Operations, Veteran Affairs, and Consumer Protection meeting for Tuesday, March 26, 2024, is hereby called to order. I take this opportunity today to once again to thank my colleagues who signed on and voted favorably on bill number 35-0226 to support the, the VI Department of Justice, Division of Paternity and Child Support in securing a minimum default child support payment for our children in the territory. The default payment will address the challenges faced by the VI Department of Justice's 
Paternity and Child Support Division to have non-custodial parents show up for hearings and provide the required financial documentation. Moreover, it holds non-custodial parents accountable for child support when they fail to appear for the hearing and when they fail to provide the financial information required to calculate payments based on their ability to pay in line with the federal and local law. The approval of this bill now puts the Virgin Islands a step closer to helping single parent households and alleviating childhood poverty in our community. I would also like to thank my colleagues for supporting Bill Number 35-223, an act renaming a portion of Gamal Gada, Bishop Dr. William A. Industrious Street. Bishop Industrious has unselfishly given his time and resources to our community. His refusal to take a salary for over 60 years shows his servant's heart and dedication to ministry. The good bishop will represent a legacy of a kind, godly, dependable man with a heart of serving others. Again, thank you to my colleagues for supporting these two measures, which now move on to the governor for final consideration and approval. Here we are at the end of March, which celebrates two, two of my favorite, significant observances, Virgin Islands History Month and Women's History Month. The achievements and contributions of Virgin Islands people continue to amaze me every day. From the early trailblazers, such as the three queens, Queen Mary, Queen Agnes, and Queen Mathilda. These three queens advanced the movement for labor rights for all in the early days of this territory following the abolition of slavery. They took a bold stand for equity and justice. Other significant trailblazers who have made significant contributions in our community and on the world stage include Lucinda Millen, Dr. Marcella Nunez-Smith, and Aliyah Boston. Lucinda Millen was the first woman elected to the Virgin Islands Legislature. One of her areas of focus was the living condition of the elderly, and the Millen was successful in building a home for them. The Lucinda Millen Home honors in St. Thomas honors her legacy. Dr. Marcella Nunez, a Yale professor from the U.S. Virgin Islands, was named by President Joseph Biden as a co-chair of his coronavirus task force, which focused on racial and ethnic equity. Aaliyah Boston, what can be said about this great young lady? is a professional basketball player for the Indiana Fever and the first, the first woman to play in the Women's National Basketball Association, WNBA. In 2023, Aaliyah was named the WNBA Rookie of the Year unanimously. Some of her many accolades and awards include WNBA All-Star, 2023, WNBA All-Rookie Team, 2023, WNBA Field Goal percent, Percentage Leader, 2023, AP WNBA Rookie of the Year, 2023, and AP, what is Associated Press, WNBA All-Rookie Team, 2023. Our Virgin Islands have a rich and extraordinary history. We also honor men such as D. Hamilton Jackson, Alton Adams, Emile Griffith, Elrod Hendricks, Julian Jackson, Tim Duncan, and of course, the man from housing where I grew up in Aswa Harris Court, Tyron Thomas, 
Once again, I am just mentioning a few of many for their achievements that have placed the Virgin Islands on the world stage. Let us continue to share stories and educate our children about outstanding Virgin Islanders and their achievement. It shows every Virgin Islands child that we are people of excellence. This week marks Holy Week across our community. It is a time when the family of believers in Jesus Christ pause to recognize Jesus Christ's life before his crucifixion and the celebration of Easter Sunday. Holy Week and Easter are powerful reminders of Jesus' love, sacrifice, forgiveness, and victory. I wish everyone a happy Easter on behalf of my family and staff. Madam Clerk, kindly proceed to roll call. Senator Samuel. Present. Present. Senator Senator Fonseca. Senator Fonseca. Fonseca. Present. Fonseca. Present. 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 Senator Alma Francis Heiliger. Present. Senator Francis Heiliger. Present. Senator Kenneth L. Gittins. Senator Gittins. Absent. Senator Javon E. James Sr. Senator James Sr., present. Senator Carla J. Joseph. Present. Senator Joseph, present. Senator Milton E. Potter. Senator Potter, absent. Madam Chair, we have four present, three absent. Thank you, Madam Clerk. We do have a quorum. Madam Clerk and colleagues, thank you for being here. Madam Clerk, do we have any correspondence? Yes, we do. Kindly read them into the record. A letter dated March 24th, 2024, to the Honorable Carla J. Joseph, Chairwoman of the Committee on Government Operations, Veterans Affairs, and Consumer Protection. And Consumer Protection. 35th Legislature of the Virgin Islands, 35th. Capitol Building, Charlotte Mali, Virgin Islands, 00802. Dear Chairwoman Joseph, Due to a previously scheduled medical appointment on the mainland, I will be unable to attend the Committee on Government Operations, Veterans Affairs, and Consumer Protection, scheduled for Tuesday, March 26, 2024, at 10 a.m. at the Fritz E. Lawrence DeWitt Legislative Conference Room on St. Croix. Please excuse my absence. I extend my best wishes for a productive and harmonious committee meeting. Please ensure that all action taken during the committee meeting are forwarded to my office for review and consideration. I thank you in advance for your understanding in this matter and sincerely apologize for any inconvenience my absence may cause. Sincerely, Senator Milton E. Potter. A letter dated March 26, 2024. To the Honorable Carla, Senator Carla J. Joseph, Chairwoman of the Committee on Government Operations Veterans Affairs and Consumer Protection. Dear Chairwoman Joseph, please excuse my absence at the Committee on Government Operations, Veterans Affairs and Consumer Protection hearing scheduled for March 26, 2024 due to a previously scheduled engagement that I cannot re reschedule. I will not be able to attend. I note the importance of the agenda items to be discussed in today's hearing and I ask that any additional information shared during the hearing be forwarded to my office. I thank you in advance for your understanding. Sincerely, Kenneth L. Giddens, Senator. A letter dated March 26, 2024, to the Honorable Carla J. Joseph, Chairwoman. Dear Chairwoman Joseph, please accept my apologies for my tardiness to today's Committee on Government Operations, Veterans Affairs, and Consumer Protection meeting. I am presently at an appointment that I scheduled in advance of this meeting and kindly ask for your patience and understanding until I can join the meeting. I am looking forward to participating fully as, I, as soon as I arrive. Thank you in advance for your kind consideration and understanding. 
Sincerely, Samuel Carrion, Senator, 35th Legislature of the Virgin Islands. Madam Chair, this ends the reading of the today's correspondence. Uh, thank you so kindly, Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk, note on the roll call that both Senator Potter and Senator Gittins are excused, and we will still have a Senator Carrion as tardy. And when he comes, as absent, and when he arrives, we will mark him present. Kindly give the tally now. We have four members present, one absent, and two excused. Thank you so kindly, Madam Chair. Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk, please proceed to reading today's agenda into the record. The Committee on Government Operations, Veterans Affairs, and Consumer Protection has scheduled a meeting for 10 a.m. on Tuesday, March 26, in the Fritz E. Lewitz Legislative Conference Room on St. Croix. The purpose of the meeting is to receive testimony and consider the following legislative measures. In Block 1, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., the committee will receive testimony concerning Bill Number 35-0030, an act honoring and commending Vaughn Benjamin posthumously for his contributions to reggae music in the Virgin Islands and the global communities, appropriating $45,000 to Department of Sports, Parks, and Recreation for design and construction of the Vaughn Benjamin Monument, and naming Water Park Front West the Marley naming water Waterfront Park west of the Marley Homes, the Vaughn Akebeka Memorial Park. This bill is sponsored by Senators Novel E. Francis Jr. and Hel Bocas Jr. and Carla J. Joseph. The invited testifiers are Ms. Sheneth Kanageta, Ms. Asia, Aseja Benjamin, Ms. Mr. Jahani Benjamin, Ms. Taisa Benjamin, Ms. Niani Benjamin, Mr. Quengo Benjamin, Mr. Stararo Benjamin, Ms. Gra Gracija Benjamin, Mr. Farach Avekodao, Mr. Raymond Armstrong, Mr. Bevan Smith Jr., Mr. Dale Wathi, Mr. Michael Lionel, and Mr. Phil Condrington. Madam Chair, this ends the reading of Block 1 of today's agenda. Uh, thank you so kindly, Madam Clerk, for reading all of those names. Uh, ladies and gentlemen and the listening audience, uh, we do have about 14 individuals who uh, were invited to testify on this very important resolution to really recognize posthumously Mr. Vaughn Akibeka Benjamin for all his contributions musically and as an advocate in our community here in the St. Croix District and as the Virgin Islands as a whole. And, and so, and also I want to recognize the presence of the president of the 35th legislature, the Honorable Novel E. Francis Jr. And so we want to be able to uh, have a good conversation, a really good conversation because this gentleman is definitely worthy of that. And later on, after we complete this, because it's, we were anticipating 14 people, so we had a, a good two hours sectioned out to accommodate uh, this bill. And then thereafter, uh, from two to five, we'll be doing a tour of the Lieutenant Governor's office in Christiansted. Who speaks on behalf of bill number 35-0030? I do, Madam. Mr. President, you're recognized. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair. Good morning to you, my colleagues. Good morning to the people of the Virgin Islands. And of course, good morning to those in, in the audience today and those testifying. I am deeply honored or more 
profoundly honored um, to present Bill number 35-0030, an act honoring and commending Vaughn Benjamin posthumously for his contributions in reggae music in the Virgin Islands and the global communities. Appropriating $45,000 to the Department of Sports, Park and Recreation for the design and construction of the Vaughn Benjamin Monument and naming the waterfront park west of the Mali Homes, the Vaughn Akibeker Memorial Park. Thank you for this opportunity to speak on Bill number 35-0030, which honors and commend this giant, Vaughn A. Benjamin Akibeka. As he was later known for his contributions to reggae music and to our community. This bill also provides for the design and for the renaming of the waterfront park. Today's testifiers are people who can speak to Vaughn's life and his legacy. We have musicians, friends, and family here today. I thank you all for being here today to help in moving this bill forward. Let's also be mindful that, again, this day present a lot of anxiety and emotions for, for people in this community, but more importantly for his family. So I ask that we continue to give them their respect as we honor this great giant of um, a member of our community. And at this time, I'd like to show, ask media to show a video and then I'll continue with a few remarks um, before we go into the testifier's presentation. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, for the time. Media, is the video is ready? Goodness and mercy, you will from the minds of the people you lamente, Shanja. I am bonus the deliverance of lamente, Shanja. The deliver lamente, Shanja. Send eyes of goodness and mercy. If you love the life you live, lead the life you love, you lead the life, lead the life you love. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair, for that brief video. Again, um, this certainly don't capture all of the um, time on earth for Vaughn Benjamin Akibeker. Um, however, again, we just wanted to, to highlight uh, that and bring uh, some remembrance as we continue to contemplate this measure before us. Vaughn Andre Benjamin was born into a musical family. Midnight was originally Ron's band. Ronnie brought Vaughn in, who was studying at Rutgers to St. Croix when the island was finally revitalized after Hugo and made him the front man. Without Midnight Band, there would be no Aki Becker. As Midnight, Vaughn and Roddy moved to Washington, D.C. in the mid-1990s. While in Washington, D.C., the band began gaining a rec regional and national following. Speaking from personal experience, once you saw Vaughn, you saw Ronnie. Ronnie certainly is a brother to me as well, um, we're high school classmates and individual that spent a lot of time together while we were growing up. So he's like a brother to me as well. As Midnight, in 1997, the band released its first album, Nambia, to international acclaim and over 25 years became renowned around the world for their deep and spiritual lyrics and trademark sound. Around the world, they were midnight, but here at home, whether playing at the sandbar on Sunday night or at other venues across the territory, Vaughn and, and Ronnie were two humble guys engaging with the community that raised them and living their lives. Aki Becker evolution as a person, as a musician, continued when he took the name Aki Becker, which was also known um, a name of the new band. Vaughn Benjamin, Aki Becker's life cannot be measured by his industry, awards and record sales. He was more than that. He was a lifelong learner, an avid reader, a prolific writer and poet. He was a spiritual teacher, 
yes. and a leader to many in the Rastafarian faith and a global icon in the Rastafarian movement. Most of us all, to, most of all, he was a son, a brother, a friend, an uncle, a nephew, and a father to the family that deeply grieves. This is a posthumous award because we did not give Vaughn Akibeka his flowers while he was here to receive them. I will let those who knew him best take over from here. At this time, Madam Chair, again, we have the testifiers. And um, at the conclusion of this presentation, I'm not a member of this committee, committee, but I do ask that we vote in the affirmative to move this measure forward. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, for the time and opportunity. And thank you so much, Senator Francis. Well, we have four gentlemen here uh, prepared to testify. And I believe we also have some written testimony that clerk would read into the record, as well as we have online two, two test, three testifiers, Nani Benjamin, Jahai Benjamin, and Shaneth Kanagata. So what, how I will proceed is I'm going to have the individuals who are online. We're going to do a microphone check and visual check as well, because we want to be able to see who we are talking to and who is presenting their testimony. So I'm going to ask uh, the testifiers online to please put on your camera, and I'll start first with Nayani Benjamin. If I'm mispronouncing your name, kindly correct me. A pleasant good morning, we're doing a microphone check. And, if, and a visual check as well. Good morning. Good I'm morning. Here. Good morning. We can see you. Wonderful. Uh, Jahai Benjamin, if I'm mispronouncing your name, kindly correct me. We're doing a microphone check and a visual check. Okay, we're not hearing or seeing Jahai Benjamin, but we do know he is there. And then we had uh, Miss Kanagata, but I don't see her anymore. So what we're going to do, we're going to begin with you, Miss uh, Naani Benjamin. I believe you, you are prepared to present your testimony Ooh. give me um, one moment I sent in my written testimony okay so you're going to be reading your written testimony but two i want to get check the microphone of the four testifiers before you begin who are joining us here live in a conference room we'll start on my right your left with mr phil armstrong Codrington. Codrington, Mr. Phil Codrington. Just a microphone check. Good yes, morning. Mic check. Morning, everybody. Good morning. The gentleman next to you, please state your name and good morning. My name is Dale Wati, a.k.a. Ras Jared. Good morning and welcome. Bevan Smith. Good morning yeah. and welcome. Blessed day, blessed day, blessed day. Raymond Amshan, Ras Big Stuff. Good morning and welcome. We thank all of you for joining us today. Uh, Ms. Benjamin, you may proceed with reading your testimony into the record. This bill is befitting of Von Benjamin due in part to his legacy as an artist and his encouragement for lifelong learning and civic engagement. Through his music and message, he was a vocal advocate for Pan-African solidarity and often spoke out against imperialism, colonialism, and neocolonialism in various parts of the world. In his words, he found helping many very fulfilling and civic. As a young adult coming into the world, he reassured me in my educational endeavors, encouraging me to stick to my path because the possibilities were limitless and to have sparkling thoughts. He, he urged me to stay conscientious and to listen and observe closely. 
These words I took with me throughout my educational journey, and I hope they inspire other youth to pursue their aspirations and engage positively with their communities. I believe these words, in combination with his advocacy for marginalized peoples, his thought-provoking musical activism, and his encouragement for continuous learning make him a suitable recipient for this honor. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Benjamin, for that testimony. Now we'll ask Mr. Phil Codrington. You may proceed with reading your testimony into the record. Pleasant good morning, Madam Chair, Mr. President, Senator James. Looking forward to seeing Mr. Carrion when he arrives. My name is um, Phil Codrington. I'm a member of the Ethiopian World Federation Local Number no. 5 Incorporated, a registered membership corporation in existence since 1937, established by His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I for the black people of the world. Our preamble states, we the black people of the world in order to effect unity, solidarity, liberty, freedom, and self-determination, to secure justice and maintain the integrity of Ethiopia, which is our divine heritage, do hereby establish and ordain this constitution for the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. The EWF applauds the Senate and the executive branch for recognizing the musical contributions of Vaughn Andre Benjamin, AKA Midnight Akibeka, and granting him the honor of naming the park along the west side of Veterans Drive in his honor with signage bearing the title Akibeka, with the construction of a monument bearing his image the EWF welcomes and support the VI government and the global community to help give Vaughn recognition due to him in perpetuity. The Kaba stone of the Rastafari community here in the VI and beyond. Akibeka the legendary, a global mentor and teacher via Roots Music. I am here on behalf of the EWF Local 5 in support of Bill Number 35-0030, recognizing Vaughn, the lead vocalist of Midnight Band and later Akibeka Band. Vaughn, whom I knew personally and had the privilege to reason with him one-on-one -on, -one on several occasions. There are many things I can think of to speak about concerning Vaughn and the memories I have of him and his brother Rani. Honorable mention also to Phil Merchant, AKA Pix, and Dion Bosey Hopkins, whom I knew as well. I would, it would be more appropriate to just quote a few of his Roots lyrics from his over 1,000 plus tracks. They have, they have low ways, sweet and convincing in the beginning, the two face of evil and oppression the two face of negative and suppression. I am the Kaaba stone, the original Kana stone, the Kaaba stone, polarity. The paradox, is the, ugliness, the paradox is in the ugliness of vanity. They are destroying the blueprint so no one can see who is the original and who is the copy. This is from the track titled Kaaba stone. Come slave Pikini, son of ruling healers, in foreign exile, I greet you highest as family. The Aija never short of time, his imperial I vine, deep red without a bloodshot tear and steady. I got four more man upon this move with me. Man was striving, living up truth with moral discipline and liberty. Yeah, the track titled Birthright. It's a time of technical, ad it's a time of technical advancements on parallel, and still it is a difficult time. A time where crime blows mine at the depravity of heinous actions. Don't go boy down the youth. They are men of mission in a majority juvenile because they have courage and long coil behind a deceptive, beguiling, relaxing smile. And they're not bad neither. Spirit is really loyal to the side. It could have been evil and they will unite down for one another, whatever for life. They have it in our scars and stripes. They have it in affiliation through up sign. 
Always have ghetto man ties. All in international is the same thing you find. Bless up my heart, be well. Haile Selassie, when he speaks, he break the Babylon spell. One of the first dispersions taken away. Oh, just save the people heart to drink wisdom well. From the track title, Arise. They try to put a bit into my mouth that I might obey and go wherever you say and say whatever you say, say. But I know your works well, negative, even though they keep holding on to my name. The tri track title, Who Built Jerusalem. On behalf of the Executive Committee of the EWF, Local Number 5, we give thanks for the opportunity to testify, Madam Chair, and want to recognize all the one in support here today, his family, his youth. Man, I see Allah, you give thanks for showing up. Rastafari. Thank you, Mr. Cotterington, for reading some of those lyrics. Typically, I listen to it, but it's, and it's really good meditation music, especially in a rising. So I'm glad that you were able to bring those lyrics with you and put them on the record as part of your testimony today. Next, in line to testify, will be Mr. Wathi. Mr. Wathi, welcome and kindly proceed with reading your testimony into the record. May I speak? You may kindly proceed. Can I take one moment by silence for the ancestors, for Aki Becca, presence to be here with us? Certainly. Thank you so much. I greet you in the name of our ancestors whose footstep I tread daily. I give thanks for each and everyone being here this morning, family, the Senate, and everyone to making this possible. My name is, is Dale Wati, also known as Ross Jared. I'm the owner of Natural Vibes. I'm the president of the House of Rastafari. I began working with Van Benjamin in 2001 when I was involved in promoting the VI reggae music. When I saw the potential of the lead singer of Midnight Band, I was inspired to promote the music starting in the Boston area where I was living at the time. I drove around the country promoting this music. When I did my first show here in St. Croix with Aki Becca, the Midnight Band, at the, um, it was Yami Bolo and Midnight Band at the uh, Driving Theatre. I was inspired of that music and I felt the world needed to hear that music because it was a special music to us very special to this day. And I never turned back. I drove across America. I told Vaughn, I said, brother, the world have to hear y'all. And if I have to take it up, I will. And I did. I packed the music, I bought the music, and I drove around America, pushing this music sincerely because it was needed. Eventually, I had the opportunity to travel with the band, serving under many different hats. During this time, people from all different walks of life was exposed to the work of Vaughn Benjamin and Midnight. So, shortly after, I was given the task of executive producer, um, producing couple albums for the band. Anyway, anyone who has worked with Vaughn can testify to his natural musical ability and the level of consciousness he conveyed through his music. Vaughn Benjamin is known and loved internationally for his inspiration, conscious and uplifting works through his lyrical contents. Vaughn was a very special being. The way Vaughn laid music down, it was not normal. I saw that. I didn't wait to honor Vaughn 
on this day. I saw the potential of this brother and I gave him my all because I love Midnight and the band Aki Becker and the whole crew, all of them. So I started to become a promoter of the Virgin Islands. I started pushing the music because it was very important at that time. I was in Boston, Massachusetts and we create a Virgin Islands outlet where they all came and performed in Boston. To this day, they love it and they're still carrying it on. So I want to say to my family, it's an honor that y'all are honoring Von Benjamin because around the world is honoring him. Why can't we in this island? Europe have a mural of Von Benjamin hanging big. People around the world is going to see him because they love Von Benjamin. A king. It's not recognized in his home. But out there, I was out there. I wasn't home when this was going on. I can't speak for I, I, but I could speak out there. Von Benjamin have taught many. He have educated many. He have inspired many. He was very special, special person. So I want to say to y'all, thank each and every one y'all, in here, family, friends, to support this bill because it's needed. Von Benjamin was from Antigua, but he grew up in this island of St. Croix. Let's give respect to Ronnie Benjamin, his brother. As Senator said, everywhere you've seen Von, you've seen Ronnie. When he was playing on stage and singing on stage, he goes behind his brother. Give respect where respect is due. Give thanks for these brothers and give thanks for everyone who contribute towards this movement. I will conclude by saying this moment and naming of the Waterfront Park is necessary for the Virgin Islands to know and remember and keep inspired by one of our own for their worldwide contribution. Vaughn Benjamin was a father, an educator, a scholar, a musician, and so much more. I am full support of the Bill 35-0030. I pray whoever is in charge of bringing this bill forward takes it into full kind of consideration. We love y'all. We are here for y'all and support y'all 100%. Love, peace, and yeah, Rastafari. Give thanks for these brothers. And thank you so much, Mr. Wathi, for that very passionate testimony. You gave us a very vibrant. I love pay. Van. I love <laughs> of, Van. And he shows. And everybody knows. Show it. it. You show it. You show it. It's okay. It's okay. We give thanks. We give thanks for that love. And so. We can hear it, we can see it, and we are knowing a little bit of more about what went on behind the scenes of this great man who we taking up the full morning to honor and give thanks. Next, we will invite Mr. Bevin Smith to present your testimony into the record. Mr. Sp Smith, kindly proceed. Let's say good morning to the Honorable Carla Joseph, um, Chair of the Committee on Government Operations and C Consumer Protection. Honorable Noble E. Francis, sponsor of the Bill 035-0030, a resolution honoring and commending Van Benjamin. All other senators, senators present today <clears throat> and to the listening and viewing audience, audience. My name is Bevan Smith, Jr., and this written testimony is submitted as a private citizen and a reggae music enthusiast residing in the U.S. Virgin Islands. I concur with the legislature of the Virgin Islands that it is fitting to posthumously honor and commend Vaughn Benjamin on behalf of the Virgin Islands for his outstanding musical, intellectual, spiritual contributions to both the Virgin Islands and the international community. The whereas clauses within the bill has accurately highlighted several areas that validates why Vaughn Benjamin, hereinafter 
referred as Akibeka, is deserving of this recognition and is the most prolific, globally accomplished, and widely respected musician to ever come out of the Virgin Islands. My first encounter with Akibeka was while he was the lead vocalist for Midnight in 1989, where they performed on stage at the Midland Nightclub. It became evident why so many have become intrigued by their pulsating bass sound and strong lyrics. Along with his elder brother, Ronnie Benjamin Jr., they seemed to hit the ground running with their early music recordings and on stage performances. I was convinced that they were on the path for a successful musical career after seeing the audience's positive response during one of their performances at the Roxy's nightclub in Washington, DC. However, it was at the locally produced second annual Royal Reggae Fest that Professor Skank of the Beat Magazine wrote, in 2001, I was fortunate to receive the re-released debut album of Midnight entitled Unpolish. After just one listen, I knew this group was extremely special. They played a hardcore root style, which I absolutely love. The catch was, they were not from Jamaica. Rather, hail from St. Croix in the US Virgin Islands. It was evident that Akibeka was an avid reader. But what was most notable was his ability to comprehend the information, use his own insights to discern subliminal messages therein, convert them into lyrics, and melodically convey an interesting interpretation to the listening audience. This is an attribute that school teachers and college professors try to instill in their students, making Akebeka a role model in this regard. Many in the music industry consider him one of the most profound wordsmiths among artists within the reggae genre. However, with all the accolades bestowed upon him as a global entertainer, performing in front of a multitude of fans spanning many continents, what stood out to me was his humility. Ability to remain grounded amidst the fame and global attention he was obviously exposed. His firstborn son, Senua, and my son, Deshaun, were teammates on one of the many American youth soccer organization teams. When he was on island, he made the time to attend the soccer matches and would marvel at the athleticism displayed by these two young athletes. Even though he may have just returned from performing live concerts in several major cities, he would never mention a word or give me any indication that he was a superstar in the making. His focus was always on the talents of the young men would display. He was an intellect that loved sharing information and discussing world topics while cooling in the Frederick said fish market. In the documentary of the evolution of reggae music in the Virgin Islands, it is apparent how much influence he had on other musicians and producers over the years. Just listen to the chorus in Pressure Bus Pipe song, Virgin Islands Nice. It was on the morning of November 5th, 2019, while cutting grass and listening to the radio through my earphones that I heard the terrible news of his passing. I reflected on the last time we spoke after his performance on the grounds of the Lawets Museum, Museum earlier that same year. He was so amazed that even after the promoter announced the concert had to end, the audience stood in place as if waiting for an encore. Despite the huge crowds he had grown accustomed to while performing abroad, he was so taken aback at the tremendous positive response from his home crowd that he insisted that the promoter should continue the show. On the day of his interment, I planted two mango trees in his honor as my personal tribute to Akebeka. Therefore, it is fitting that this auspicious body and Act Bill 35-0030 that posthumously honor and commend him appropriate monies to construct the Vaughan Benjamin Mon Monument and for the waterfront park area west of the Mali homes to be named the Vaughan Akibeka Benjamin Memorial Park. In closing, I too would like to recite a few lyrics that Midnight's first album, Unpolished, in order to demonstrate his, its timeliness when it was released and its applicability to the Virgin Islanders and the global community even up to today. <clears throat> Your body is your temple, your one and only temple, 
You are living in the holy places of the tabernacle of the Most High Jah. Love the life you live. Lead the life you love. Don't shed no tears. Black is the color of our solar system. Out of blackness was born the light. Black is the color of the whole universe. Your morning starts with darkness. Did not your morning start with darkness? Well, so does tonight. Alpha and Omega I, the beginning and the end. Mama, Mama, I keep wishing I could capture love in a battle and blow it all around. I keep wishing I could capture justice in America and fling it all around. Sling dang dang way. Justice don't sell out to the highest trigger finger of war. Sling ding dang way. When you them a call nigger, stop pull trigger and one another. And finally, it is a national material competition. The eagle have the bomb and the lion must have none. In their international material competition, who should have the liar shears now is the lion's son. CIA, KGB, Mossad, the IRA, Scotland Yard, and the PLO turned to make out on Israel and NATO. Tell me, oh, why are they fighting so? Everybody wants to be the leader in the house where the diamonds come from. Everybody wants to be the leader where all the natural resources come from. We are the lions, we come in dread. Dreading now we walk, naughty dreading now we head. Dread out a Judah, straight down to Zed. Addis Abada crowned the king. I thank you for the opportunity. It was an honor. And, and we are so grateful that you were able to be here to give that riveting testimony, Mr. Smith. It showed a level of enlightenment to those of us who actually had opportunity to listen, view, and your family members by extension, his musical talent as well as the Midnight Band combined musical talent. What a powerful testimony, and we thank you for for being here to present it. Next, we will recognize Mr. Raymond Armstrong. Mr. Armstrong. Yes, greetings. Greetings. Bless everybody. Bless the family of Aki Becca, Von Benjamin. You may proceed. I'm just a Bushman. Aki Becca. The voice of midnight, Von Benjamin, should be given the highest honor this community and the world at large has to offer. His contributions, achievements, and recognition in the world music industry is indisputable. All over the earth, Akibeka, the voice of midnight, is honored and tribute regularly. I am very sure honors and tribute will go on for generations to come. Set it and done. I am Raymond Armstrong, AKA Big Stuff, AKA Aki Becker Sound Station International, the Juggling Bushman. Blessed day. Thank you so much, Mr. Armstrong for that very powerful testimony as well. Uh, we have Ms. Shineth Kanegada. I see that you're online. Can you, can we view you visually as well, Ms. Kanegada? Okay. okay, she has her testimony to present. Ms. Carwood, are there some testimonies that can be read into the record? Point of information. Mr. President, you're recognized for your point of information. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair. As we continue to, um, at least before, we have the reading of the testimony by his sister, Shanette Kanegeta, 
I think it's most fitting that we recognize the presence of his uh, children. I know that one spoke earlier, but we also have in the audience um, Senba uh, Benjamin. And if the media could just, just sign the camera on him, if you could just quickly stand, uh, I think that we want to recognize his presence here. Stand again uh, so we could get, get a shot of you. Yes, right. Respect. Yes. I know that his other sisters, um, Ashisha Benjamin, as well as Niani uh, Benjamin is also here. Um, and Jani also, um, Jani Benjamin. So I just wanted us to make sure that we're recognizing and paying tribute to them as well for their contribution of their father. Respect. We're going to uh, take just a, a very brief recess. Madam Clerk, you're ready? Okay. How am I questioning you when you're usually ready? Madam Clerk, kindly proceed with reading the written testimonies that you, that we have received into the record. Uh, Shauna, last night you shared the many, uh, shared that we would hang out and listen to Midnight, not realizing how intention internationally known they were. I watched the video and though nicely done, the story is not accurate. Midnight was formed in 1989 with Ron and his then band. The band members were given the task to suggest names for the band. Corey Kent came back with the name Midnight, and it was a hit. Bond lived in New Jersey at the time and was at Rugters. Ronnie brought him to St. Croix when the island was finally revitalized after Hugo and made him the front man. Without Midnight, there would be no Ake Beta. We had two brothers. One is no longer hair and we are trying our best to come to terms with it. One brother is still here, grieving his brother. This is what makes it difficult for our family. We are still trying to come to terms. My parents, us, the siblings, with the death. We appreciate the honor that is giving, that is being given to him. We understand the love and respect for Vaughn and for his contributions, his gifts and talents. He, we also understand the economic drive that inspires us. My brothers were talented beyond measure, Ron and Vaughn all the way. It was their infection combined gift that took the world by storm and made it remain alive and impactful today. Like I said, Ron and Vaughn all the way. Madam Chair, this ends the reading of the testimony. And thank you so much, Madam Clerk. At this time, we are going to allow our colleagues to begin their round of questioning. We'll have uh, four minutes, four minutes round of questioning. And if then we have any additional burning questions to ask the testifiers regarding the life of the late Vaughn Benjamin and even the Midnight Band will proceed to do so. At this time, the chair will recognize Senator Alma Francis Heiliger. Senator Francis Heiliger, you're recognized for your four minutes. Unmute your. A mutual device. Oh. Okay, try Good again. Good afternoon to my colleagues. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. Good afternoon. Good. Good afternoon to my colleagues. Good afternoon to the testifiers. Good afternoon to all that came to really speak on behalf of Mr. Von Benjamin and all the wonderful things that we've heard that he's done. Um, I too, a fan of Midnight Band over the years have listened intensely. And one of the things that I have always found was I 
I, I listen to lyrics because for me, lyrics is a form of poetry. And if anyone really listened to a lot of the words that were dropped by this type of music that they put out, they would actually have learned a lot. They would have understood a lot and they would have recognized what was coming out of the Virgin Islands. And to the testifiers, his family, and everyone that's there, thank you so much for coming out today and really participating with us to recognize and honor him. But what I want to know, um, when I when I heard intensely listening to you guys speak about his musical talent, when did you guys, as um, participants, whether as family or friends, members, band, really recognize his skills because it, 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 it's astronomical what he is able, along with Midnight Band, to accomplish. Yes, you may what? proceed with answering. Please uh, state your name before you answer so the recorder who is in St. Thomas can correctly and accurately transcribe what you're saying. My name is Dale Wati, AKA Ross Jared. Um, to answer the question for me, um, like I said, my first show with Midnight, a drive-in theater, 2000, when I saw and heard the lyrics of my brother, there's no one in this world. I've been in music, I have did music with Bobby Brown, I've traveled with Bobby Brown and many great singers. I've been at many Grammy. Van Benjamin, his lyrics, his education, his knowledge of how he articulate words, it's, un it's unspeakable, it's, it cannot be mentioned in words. If you just have to listen, many people have heard his music and said, I don't understand what he said. Why? Because the words he's using, pick up a dictionary. It makes you learn, broaden your horizon. Vaughn came and opened doors through his music. He said to me one day, he said, they're making a TV station every day to, um, to mess our children them up. Why can't I make music to contradict what they're saying? Exactly. And he did it. I saw it. So give thanks for Aki Becker and his work, his family, and his contribution to reggae music. It didn't take me. It didn't make me to recognize Vaughn when he's not here. Because Vaughn is here with us. He's here right now. He's not physically in the farm, but he's here with us, listening to everything we are saying. So I did not wait until... Vaughn is passed to recognize his lyrics and his contest. I love it. I love everything. Every single one of his songs he make, it has a meaning and it has a purpose. Give thanks. Excellent. Um, one of the things that I also Hi. noted, because with us here as members of the Virgin Islands, you know, we have very unique music. And to know that people from the Virgin Islands had such an impact across the board to the entire world. I, I think that is a definite beautiful thing. And also I am a proponent of pushing for our own Virgin Islands culture, our heritage through Virgin Islands history. And I would love to see the information of Midnight Band in Vaughn and the members be incorporated into the teachings of our children. Because when we talk about who we are as a people, this is a perfect example of who we are. This is a perfect example of someone having such a great impact that not only us here in the Virgin Islands recognize it, but around the world. And that is a beautiful thing. What are your thoughts about individuals in our territory that continue to make an impact to include people like Von Benjamin and the band, Midnight Band? What are your thoughts about making sure that they're incorporated into the teachings of our children? Because we're about pride, and we have to start instilling pride in them to know that, listen, you don't always have to look elsewhere. There's a lot of things coming right out of the Virgin Islands that you could see a reflection of yourself 
in those individuals as well. What are your thoughts on that? Any other steps you want to do? Okay. Uh, I will answer. Um, my name is Raymond Armstrong, and I like that question because I'm aware of a bill that has passed for couples uh, decades now that we should have our our curriculum with our our um, our story in it, and this is something that you know if we have this in our curriculum. We would see the more we see more Bast and more Timmy Duncan, more Von Benjamin. We will see them, and we will recognize them from young. But if we don't have this in our curriculum, we can wait until this kind of moment to now say, "Let's mm -hmm. honor one of our past soldiers and honor them that way." When we should be honoring from the time they are youth. I used to work for Parks and Recreation. So, you know, I know well. I remember Fawn Son was in my tennis summer program in Kanigata. You know, and this is where you can recognize and give them the flowers from that age. So I think I have a job to do to make this possible. Please. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you for that response. Um, I think, did I hear a time call? I want to make sure it's stay within like four minutes. <laughs> uh, Senator yeah. Francis okay. Heiliger, your time was called, but we okay. wanted to get well, in. Well, I'll wrap it up. If yes. I will wrap it up. Thank okay. you very much, Madam Chair, for the additional time. And I will definitely be voting in the affirmative for this piece of legislation because our history should be preserved and shared with the rest of the world, as well as the children and the people of this territory. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Senator Francis Heiliger. Uh, Mr. Smith, you wanted to comment on yeah, the question? Yes, I, I, yes, I kind of wanted to add to that question. Um, okay, if I may. kindly proceed. Okay, Bevan Smith again. Um, again, after Unpolish, Vaughn kind of went way over my head. I mean, he's such a scholar. Yes. So she asked a question about what made you really realize that album in itself. I can't remember if it's about 10, but I would say 10 out of 10 tunes was a hit. But I look at a lot of YouTube, and I think Vaughn and others can break down some of the difficult theories that you learn in science. You always hear him talk about the carbon. Well, I was looking, and they said the atom is actually the first trinity. The atom makes up everything, the neutron, the electron, and the proton. Some of you know me as a solar enthusiast. When you talk about photovoltaics, it's the electrons that get moved from the energy of the sun that cause electricity. Sometimes, right here in our own, amongst us, people can explain things in a way that our youth can really grasp it. And I think Akibeka, in breaking down a lot of difficult, difficult, uh, what should I say, theories, in his own way and from his reading, it can help you to understand a lot of things. Yes. And as time goes along, I learn what he was actually talking about, sometimes from other scholars. And I say, wait, Mon was talking this 10 years ago. So yes, we can emulate our own and still teach our own children based on some of his lyrics. Thank you. And I just want to add, this is proven in, in data that typically when we teach our own, they excel far better than when they are taught by others, okay? And so it is very critical, because we all are teachers, okay? And some of us think because you have a degree that makes you a teacher, it does not, right? He was a teacher, okay? And he was able to translate into music a lot of concepts that gives light and inspires human beings. And that is very powerful. I'd like to then move on to our next senator. He is from St. Thomas as well. He's joining us uh, from the Earl B. Atlee Chambers. Uh, senator Fonseca, you are recognized for your four minutes. 
Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Can you hear me? Um, I can hear I'm you loud sure. and clear, Senator Fonseca. Okay, yes. You could proceed. Listen, listen, pleasant good morning to all of the distinguished testifiers. I'm so impressed with the testimony. We continue to give thanks and praises to the Most High. Uh, blessings, blessings. Um, today is is very um, notor not notori no <laughs> a very notoriety day because we celebrate um, Von Benjamin. You know, we know them growing up. Midnight Band. Um, after we had lost Bob Marley, there was that period in time, and I think Vaughn and the Midnight Band had a ser similar type of lyrics. You know, I was going through the um, the bill here, and I noticed they were a very prolific band, 61 I albums, Midnight Band, and of course, Aki Becker, he had 11 albums, over 1,500 songs, you know. And they were a Crucian band, not a Jamaican band. You know, some people think they had a Jamaican song. I wanted to go to um, Bevan Smith. I wanted to ask you a couple questions here. Um, we know that, you know, the brother combination, Ron was on the bass and the keyboards. Tell us how Ron complimented Vaughn with his, you know, his lyrics. How that bass and keyboard blended in with the lyrics of Vaughn. Well, from what I know, um, Bevan Smith again. And um, I, I recall, I, I did a documentary called The Evolution of Reggae Music in the VI. If you ever get a chance to go on YouTube and check that out, you'll see Vaughn and Ronnie live back in um, the mid-1990s. Um, again, when I first, in that section, he actually was playing keyboards. And as, uh, as Brother Wati here, um, Jared would say, they'll always have dynamics together where Vaughn will go over to Ronnie, Ronnie will go over to Vaughn, and, 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 and um, you know, do their little thing. The lyrics, you'll see that when Vaughn is singing, Ronnie is singing every word along with him, backing him up, and he had that higher pitch voice where Vaughn, you know, was more tenor-like. Um, they inspired me because I also had dreams with my brothers to become a band, and when I look at them, I say that they actually did it, you know. They actually did it. They were dedicated, dedicated to the works, and, and they really make it happen. So I can't say exactly who wrote what and who didn't write what, but I know they gelled together when they're on stage performance, and you could see that there was a lot of effort put in the lyrics to keep it the way it was. Uh, um, if you look at the documentary, the song um, Don't Move is a little different from the actual recording on the Polish album. Again, it's because they put thought into it and made sure the right message that they wanted to portray on the album came out. So I'm not sure I'll answer your question. Uh, maybe Jared could do a better yes. job. He actually <laughs> traveled with them. But from my looking at the side, I say that they work well together Vaughn, the prolific writer, Ronnie, was good with coming up with the bass line. And of course, he was a great keyboard player, composer. And everything had to be right. You know, I do dub poetry. I, I tried to do dub poetry with them one time, and they were teaching me how to do my dub poetry to sound right. <laughs> so again, Ronnie, great artist. Vern, a great writer. Yes, thank you. And we know, too, that they came from a, a, a well um, musical family, the father being a musician and the mother being a school principal. Um, quickly, I wanted to go to Mr. Armstrong, Raymond Armstrong. Time. Um, yes, sir. Um, Madam Chair, can I just be allowed to finish up? Um, you you can proceed. You can proceed, Senator Fonseca. Thank you. Um, um, yes, um, Mr. Armstrong. Tell me about the transition from Midnight Band to Aki Becker. Tell me what took place during that period of time, where they transitioned from Midnight to Aki Becker. <laughs> the transition basically was just, you know, elevation of, of the journey, you know, and for... For Vaughn, he, he's a very aggressive writer. You know, 
one producer can't keep up with with with, with Aki Becker, you know. And so I would guess to you know have you know the experience with other producers and promoters, you know, and to take the music or or or, or his vision to another level. You know, that's where the Aki Becker was created through his reading and his research, you know, and that's where he decided he wanted to take uh, his, his side too, you know. So I can't really, to say, you know, answer directly, you know, and from midnight to Aki Becker, but, you know, I can comfortably say it's a transition you know, in the music. Thank you, thank you. And thank you so kindly for the additional time, Madam Chair. I, I hope we have another burning question in another round, because I do have another important question. And thank you very much for the time, Madam Chair. You're most welcome, Senator Fonseca. And if there is a burning question, the Chair will indulge and allow that. Next, uh, I'd like to recognize Committee Vice Chair, Senator Javon James Sr. for his four minutes. Senator James Sr. Greetings to the people of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Thank you, Madam Chair, for the time. I stand in full support of Bill number 35-0030. I want to say a special thank you to the Senate President, Senator, no, I'm not supposed to call her name, I just say Senate President. We all know who we're talking about, the boss. But I say all that to say is today's a very great day while I watch the gallery, because many times when we honor individuals, I look forward to see who's in the gallery. It speaks a lot to who this individual was. Vaughn, to me, was more than just an artist, though. He was a very wise man, and he was wise beyond his years. And to me, he was more of a messenger and not really an entertainer or artist. And you can't compare him to Bob Marley. Much respect to Bob Marley, much respect. But Vaughn, Vaughn's lyrics, totally different. You know, when, when, when Bob Marley would, would say something in one line, Vaughn would say two to three sentences in that same amount of time that Bob Marley would say, one love, he was da -da 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 -da, and all over the place. Now, that was a little challenging part for them. I think it was a little too fast. However, the rhythm, it puts you in a vibration where how it bubbles. So when you hear the rhythm and you hear the lyrics, as much as it's fast, the, the, the pulse of the rhythm puts you in a situation where if you're under meditation, you can hear what he's saying. In other words, this message was for individuals who wanted to receive it. It was an energy, it was a vibe. And the reason why I can say that, because I'm a big fan of um, Benjamin and Midnight Band. While I was living in New York City, that's way before I, I came into this world of mine, of politics, um, the album Unpolished, and I, I, I really like the fact that you all highlighted it so many times. I, I know for sure that's one of his biggest albums and every single song if you really into reggae every single song on that album you could listen to that album over and over and while I was going through my dark times in New York going through so many things living with my brother my brother was into the Rastafarian faith you know but we still share those beliefs and he passed down some of those things to me and I say that to say is I found the Unpolished album in his apartment in New York, and I took it for him. I never returned it. <laughs> <laughs> and that album, like I said, brought me through my darkest times. You know, I lost my dad and so many things been going on. I wanted to leave the Virgin Islands because at the time it was just crazy. And I went to New York thinking I'm going to turn into this big celebrity and get rich. It didn't happen. Right back here in, in the Virgin Islands. But... Mama Africa and Propaganda, those are my two favorite tracks on the album. Um, the reason why I like Propaganda, I'm not going to quote the lyrics. I don't want to get into trouble today. <laughs> <laughs> but I would advise anybody to listen to the song Propaganda, you know, because when you really listen to that, you will see the fight of 
the black men, not just in this community, but all over the world. And Vaughn Benjamin, no different from Edward Wilmer Blyden, no different from Marcus Garvey, no different from any of those guys. Deliver the message to the people without any fear. But my question, though, if I'm not mistaken, I will ask you since you know, you know a good amount of good amount about him. If I'm not mistaken, Vaughn Benjamin never put his face on an album, right? Speaking to me. One. There's only one. And that was Earl. Oh, sorry. Name Dale Watty, a.k.a. Ross Jared. It was only one album. And well, really it, yeah, it was just one picture I ever saw with Bosi, and that was way back. But after, Vaughn personally tell me this. You don't want no distraction. I'm a tall, handsome guy. I don't want to be distracted. It's right. a message. This is a personal thing, Vaughn tell me. Next thing he said to me, you don't see how I go on stage? He just go on stage, he you know, like jump all over the place. He just stay so. Stay still and deliver. It wasn't about him. It was the message. And that's what I was getting at. The humbleness. Most people, they want to be the star boy and be on the album. Vaughn never practiced that. He was a very humble person. He stayed in the back and let the message did the, the, the work. Uh, but Madam Chair, if I could just wrap up quickly. You may proceed, Senator. I just want to wrap up by saying uh, Monks I and I was another big tune, a music video that was featured in West. And the reason why I had to bring it up today because while reading the bill, it's such a coincidence. People like um, Seagull was in that video as well. Much respect to Seagull. Rest in peace. But it's so, such a coincidence when you see all those individuals in, the, in that music video for Monks I and I, and to know that this monument, this monument for Vaughn Benjamin will be right there. I know the people of Fredericksted will definitely appreciate it, and in no other place, where else you could put it, in Freedom City. So with that said, thank you, Mr. President, for bringing this, and big up to, I think, Edmund, and I saw some other individuals who played in the band, Ras Element. I saw you know you as so, supposed to be my cousin, right? Family, respect. Thank you, Madam Chair, for the time. Uh, thank you so much, Senator James Sr. I, I want to take this opportunity to, again, commend the sponsor, the primary sponsor of this legislation, Senator Novel E. Francis Jr. In fact, we had tried to bring this legislation forward in the 34th legislature. And uh, it was coming close to the end and he was working hard. And we looked at it and we said, you know what, let's hold it over for the 35th, God spare our life, so we could have a really robust discussion and not have it rushed. And that's what we are doing today. I noted that Vaughn was born on the island nation of Antigua and so are my parents. And I could trace back my roots. I have a great, great grandmother. Her name is, her name was Idris Benjamin. And so we all are united, whether we know it or not, by those blood that runs through our veins. We may not know the connections and we haven't connected the dots but they are there and they exist. That's why I, I look at all of us and I always say we are family. Even when I, when I was teaching, um, I said that we are family. I wanted to ask, I don't know who can answer this question. Um, I noted in the whereas clause that his father and his siblings, um, they were musicians and they played in a band. Where, where did they start playing first? That's the thing I, I couldn't really put my finger on. Uh, who can tell me, Mr. Wathi, you look like you're itching to say, you have been around them touring and promoting. So you would know, I'm hoping that you would know where they started out playing as mu as musician. This family, this this family of musician. Where did they start? Dale Wati, <laughs> aka Rasta Red. Church. Amen. 
Amen. I, I, I had a strong suspicion, you know, but I, I needed it to be on the record. We it, all start in the church. I know it. That's where all good things come from. It should come from there. And that heart and that also level of spirituality. As descendants of Africans and Africans, we have a really strong spirit and a, a stronger connection to the most high, all-powerful God. And so I suspected that they started out playing in church. Uh, we see a lot of musical talents here in the Virgin Islands as well as nationally and internationally. And they hone, they started their skills in church. I'm glad that you were able to provide that. Now, Mr. Smith, I wanted to get a, from you a, because my brothers, I have two brothers who are also of the Rastafari, my two eldest. And they had occasions to come over to St. Croix and we would reason one on one after they have had their experience. And they would tell me how riveting this, just a moment, just the, the concert, just to be around him. They, they even took pictures with him. I don't have them to share right now. I'm hoping that one of my brothers will send me a picture with them, both of my brothers, with Vaughn sitting down and just reasoning one and one. But tell me, how did you or do you, how did you interact, Mr. Smith, with him, knowing that, yes, he was educated well-read, and he was able to impart instructions to you, knowing your passion in solar, what, what would be some of the things that he would like to see and be perhaps singing about in today, in this time and this season? Evan Smith again, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm reflecting on, on the fact the last time I actually had a conversation with Vaughn, was, Carl was with me. Carl who? Your brother Carl, <laughs> Carl Joseph. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, I was, you know, Carl, you know, Carl knew everybody. And I was like, the way he was talking with Vaughn, I said, but you from St. Thomas, you act like you know Vaughn more than me. You know, and then they were gone off in the, in the deep conversation. But um, Vaughn loved to talk about philosophy, you know, and, and how things work. And, and then at the fish market, everyone who knows me in West, Sigo and I, we played chess for hours. And, and Vaughn would be there kind of upset because he wanted us to stop playing chess and let's reason. You know, so he'll come up with all kind of things about chess. You know, that's, that, that game is a, this game and that game. I said, Vaughn, we're coming now, man. We, we're finishing. You know, we, we love to play chess. But he likes to talk about philosophy and, and how things work. And he was a deep brother. And when he started talking about carbon, I, I, as I mentioned before, at the time, I really couldn't grasp what he was saying, but it was from the books he read and the experiences he had that he was able to break down how the carbon works. He, he liked to play with words. You have to be careful what words you use when you speak with Vern because he turned it around and say, make it look like you're talking nonsense, you know? <laughs> and he, he liked to turn around backwards so you find the true meaning of the word. So in reasoning with Vaughn, you learn a lot. And sometimes you don't learn it until maybe a year or two after. And you said, this is what he was talking about, you know? And that's why I said I was stuck on, um, um, on polish. I, I love some of his tune. And the thing about Vern, Vaughn, he was a chanter and he was an excellent singer. When he started to sing, you realize that none of the mother rigor music have anything over him. One of my favorite singing songs of him is, is Midnight Ghetto. And, you know, he will make a song up in a minute. You know, I wonder, like, okay, when did you write that? He probably just wrote it as he heard the music. So, in reasoning with, with, with Vaughn, and, and again, we used to talk on the soccer field a lot, and he used to really admire the skill of Deshaun and Senua. That, you know, when they on the, the, the soccer field together, they played together and they really worked together and, and scored a goal. And he was very, very proud of that. You know, Senua, I'm glad he's here in the audience now. Come up to be a very, very athletic and, and natural young man. You know, and um, I'm glad that he's here to hear this honor that his father has bestowed, bestowed not only to the Virgin Islanders, but to the whole global community. So again, um, you ask some difficult questions, but 
like I said, his philosophy, you know, his breakdown of his imperial majesty, you know. Some of us in the Rastafari faith, we go back and forth about the divinity of his majesty. He was clear on how he saw his majesty. And he made a snake of his tongue, you know. Um, what, one of them that I heard, um, it's going to slip me now, but it has to do with um, he weathered the storm. And, and when I hear how, when you think about how his majesty weathered the storm against us, and when he put that into his lyrics, it brings you a nice, warm, and fuzzy feeling. Like you say, it's good meditation music. That um, I, I miss him today. I, I call my mango tree Aki, and another one Becca. And I talk to them every time I water them. And they went down the day he went into the ground. And I'm looking forward to some great, what you call, Haitian kidney mangoes and Valencia. Yes, sir. <laughs> Valencia. Give thanks. Thank you so much. Give now, thanks. I wanted to ask a next question. This one is for you, Mr. Codrington. You know, Rastafari as a religion is very humble. Sometimes, you know, individuals may think of Rastafari and they just see you with your, your locks. Some people don't wear their locks, but they see it. When Vaughn had conversations with you regarding that level of spirituality. Um, how was it received with you and also members of the Rastafari movement and, and spiritual uh, religion? Madam Chair, um, Phil Cadrenton here on behalf of the EWF. Give thanks for your question, Madam Chair. Um, one of the things that, that has remained with me in regards to memories I have of Vaughn was how he never made me feel less than him. And I recognize how great the brother is more and more. I hear somebody was talking about it, like how certain things, I still un unpacking some of the lyrics. They talk about the word. Um, Devin was talking about how he, he turned around the words and stuff like that. And in one of the songs, he, he has a thing where he says, is it morph or from, right? And I just unpacked this the other day, right? Morph is from spelled backwards, right? And he, this is all true. He's truly a wordsmith. I remember one day, I, I was talking to him about... Um, there's a song called um, Basra. And I met him and I said, is it true you wrote Basra for the, the, the bedroom them in Iraq? You know? He, he said, yeah. I said, that man on the internet saying you wrote Basra for, for them brothers in Iraq, you know? Is that true? He tell me, yeah, man. You know, you ain't, you ain't see what happened when the war unfold over there and he started to say certain things. And I tell him, man, me ain't well read like that, you know, bedroom. And he look at me like, 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 what are you putting on yourself for? Like, like, like you making this, this knowledge seem like unattainable to you or something. And, and I have to say, that is something that, that has remained with me and it's dry, it drives me about him. He never made me feel less than him at no time. No time. You, you talk about the Rastafari faith is, 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 a, is a way of life, you know, and at no time, the bedroom never made me feel like don't approach him or... You know, hey, I, I, I remember one day, another time, share another memory. He used to do his family laundry. He used to do his laundry. I met him, I, I was going to do my laundry, and he was there doing his laundry or his family's laundry. Let me get that straight, right? And I said to him, I said, um, I said, Bedrin, me think them people in America understand what you're saying, you know, because I'd be having trouble unpacking. Like the lyrics got your, 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 your dialect tick. You check? And he look at me and he, he does kind of like, you know? I say, yeah, I don't, I don't think them people are fully unpacking what you're saying, Bedrin. Because me who there, I having trouble and I asking him, what you mean when you say, and such and such, you know? And, and he said, man, you know, it's just how he express it at times. You know, it might come off a little more tick. So he says sometimes it come off like he ain't crip. Because it just the, the 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 accent come off so thick at the time, you know. So I, I just give thanks that I had the opportunity to reason with the brethren on many occasions and he inspired me to look within myself and don't 
Don't never put myself down at no time. At no time he showed me that. Don't never, don't never see yourself as less than to no one, no time. You know, so that's what I would, I would, I would give recognition and remembrance to of the bedroom at this moment, you know. Give thanks. I don't know if I answered your question, but give thanks. You, you <laughs> definitely answered my question thoroughly. So rest assured, because that's something that was needed to be said on the record about the level of humility. Let me tell you, for Rastafaris, I, I always count on them. I don't know about anybody else. I remember one, just because you spoke, because one time I was feeding some elders, we couldn't get into the lunchroom. Guess who opened the door? <laughs> and it was early in the morning. Early in the morning. And so I gave thanks for that, because I know the heart. I know the humility. My, like I said, I have two elder brothers who are, and they, they have that demeanor. Uh, of humbleness, of unity, of love, of peace. Thank you. Um, Senator Novell Francis, Jr., you're recognized. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. I'm hoping that I'm going to get equal time as the chair. You may proceed, sir. Thank you very much. You're killing it. Um, so I, I really want to say thank you to, to all the testifiers and, and your great comment, as well as my colleagues in what appears to be a supportive of moving this measure forward. And I, I can't see no reason why not anyway. Uh, but, you know, we stand on shoulders of our parents. And it's important that we understand. I heard the question that asked when his skills was recognized. I grew up in a house where my father was from Antigua. So we listened to Ronnie Benjamin in our home. So he grew up into a family as well that was musicians. I attended school with, with Ronnie and Shanette and Altia and, um, and Vaughn, where while Vaughn is being recognized today, those other siblings have great skills as well. I remember hearing Shanette sing in school and again, I mean, blew the roof off. We always love to hear her and her sister sing in school. You know, um, at times, I, like I said, I hung out with, with uh, a lot of times with Ronnie. You know, so we were almost called brothers at times. And then my brother Buddha looked like Vaughn. <laughs> so, I mean, there was opportunity for people to confuse us. And, and growing up, and um, that's why we always refer to each other as, as brothers. In 2014, when I decided to run for office, I seek Ronnie out, and he put together my first jingle. Again, just showing the association of, of what's happening here uh, today. So while we're really having this discussion, I, I think that I too want to pay respect and homage to the parents. Um, Ronnie, Ronnie and, and Vaughn's and Shanette and Althea's parents because they too was instrumental in his upbringing. I get in all kind of texts here. I heard from one, at least one of my, um, one of our workers here in the media, you know, to talk about the fact that um, Alwyn Batiste, which most of us know, um, where he talked about um, the fact that you know, Midnight was his first recording session as an engineer in the studio in Christiansted. The brother there. So, you know, what we're hearing here today, and I know it's long overdue, and I will certainly admit to that, but growing up, right, um, we, we, we take different path. They went on to music, and I became the Bobby Line. <laughs> a lot of times when I sat down in the fish market on Saturdays, the Babylon show up. <laughs> but again, you know, these, these are how uh, I going there was no stranger to them um, because, of course, you know, we all grew up together in this community. So the Babylon is moving this measure today <laughs> to make sure that my brother get recognized. Give thanks. Give yes. Thanks. Yes, I give thanks. <laughs> So it's really, really a, a, a good feeling, um, and you know, I pray that um, 
his children have an appreciation for the contribution of their father. Because he meant a lot. He meant a lot to all of us. I see some of his band members as well that's here today. And, um, you know, it's, it's all a collective, right? You know, Midnight is just not made up of, of Vaughn. It's not just made up of Ronnie. But there are so many other components of, of that band that makes up the whole. So we give respect and honor to them as well for their contribution. Um, I, I wanted to ask, though, can anyone speak to what you believe that, that really, um, because you, you have to be at the right sphere, um, because he's always at that, Vaughn was always at the higher sphere, right? What, what would you say that, that really evoke emotions um, out of Vaughn? You know, he always seems to just, um, you know, just move in a, in a certain level, and if you're not at that level with him, he just keep moving. What do you see as something that really troubled him in this community? Um, that you believe that, you know, when he sung his songs, because a lot of times when we compare him to Bob Marley, you know, he had conscious music about things that's happening in our world at that time. You know, I think I saw where I mean, Bob Marley a lot of times he was talk about the Bible and Bible verse. But for Vaughn and um, Midnight Band, it was always what's happening within the world and deeply analyzing and being analytic to, to what's happening in our world and that put that into a song. So anyone could talk about the frame of mind. What do you believe angered Vaughn Aki Becker about this community? Anyone could answer. I mean, all those in the mic, if you, if you wish to come in, um, then, then certainly we could, we could um, invite you in if, if need be. No, 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 no. You, you, you're going to have to come in. Uh, sit right here. You can sit right here by Mr. Armstrong. Sit right here by Mr. Armstrong, right there. And if you just put your name, put your name on the record as well. Blessed good day. Blessed day, everyone. My name is Edmund Felto. That question, what angered him? How could someone like this leave? This is my question. How could someone like this leave? Who are friends and family, or close friends, who are in big places, who are in high places. How can someone like this leave? You know what I'm going to say next? How can someone like this leave with no recognition? My brother is down in the ground right now. I travel the world with him, if, if you all didn't know. Me and some lot of other band members who are here travel the world with him. So, what angered him? How can we watch what is going on in our Virgin Islands and our leaders know what is going on and pretend like we don't know? Who have the keys to the city of the Virgin Islands right now? Mm. Uh, what are the lyrics in these songs that the people who have the keys to the city? The words that Von Benjamin expresses is not just Rastafari. It does not Rastafari. It's the way that we all know what we should be living. And everybody know it. But we as a people, we choose who we want to be places, and we choose who we want to be and what, and you help who you want to help. When are we going to stop? There are much people like Von Benjamin around? No. They ain't much like that. Let me see a singer you could bring right now and sing a song and make it right here. I have been in studios and make whole albums oh. with him in two days. Oh. Albums that people take years to make. Oh, you could let someone like that leave and pretend like you don't know. Oh, Rastafari. Eh? Me come here to speak nice and pretty. How could someone like that leave? Eh? And pretend like it's nothing. And the world recognizes him. The world look on the internet. The world recognizes him. Everybody that does say, 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 talk. Talk, talk, talk. But when you come and do, it's a whole different thing. The, just like Alia Johnson and a lot of different people, Boston, they're Boston, Boston, Boston. there are a lot of people like that in the Virgin Islands. Yes. But I you don't care for them, you throw them away. They're people with skill and talent, unbelief. And, and until 
we the people of the Virgin Islands who have a whole island for ourselves to run. We can't say is the white people, is the European, is it this, is it that. We can't say that we the people here, we make the laws here. Why do we, why are we still in the same stupidness? Huh? This building here, we don't reason to come in here. This building here is where all the activity that take place. Maybe I should start to come visit a little more often. You know? So let me let me um at least what 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 you played in the band? What was your position? Um uh, my my position in the band I was just the guitar player. The guitar player. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Um so please know that uh, number one, I want to thank you for your contribution there. And like I say, I believe that the band was more than um, Vaughn and, and Rani. Um, you know, there's many components that made up the band. And, you know, um, everything is within time. And certainly we thank you for your contribution. I believe that the time is right for us to be able to pay respect to this brother, Aki Becker. And, you know, feel free if you have other individuals that you like to recommend that this body should consider. We're very, very open to do that as well. Yes, sir. There is Lyle Henry. Nothing going on without Eile. Who's that? Eile, Lyle Henry. Nothing going on without Eile. Uh, the driver of the bus. If you think that's not important, the driver of the bus, the cook of the food, the one who does everything that nobody sees. Everybody does see light camera action. Yeah. There's people, Eddie and Elena. Well, let's, let's not take away from Vaughn today, though. Um, you know, let's, let's, we, we're willing to have that discussion. And um, I, as well as any other senator, you could certainly approach, and we could build the information to make sure that those individuals are recognized. But today is truly, um, you know, Vaughn, Benjamin Aki Becker's day, um, and we really want to keep the focus on him today because, you know, his contribution is immense, and, you know, today is his day. I'm sorry, you asked me a question and no, no, I was no, just, no, 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 just no, answering. No, we good, we good, we good, we good. Uh, I just sharing with you that, that you know what I mean? I, I wanted to know, I mean, exactly what, what some of those issues were uh, because that helped to drive his composition and putting those songs together and putting them into lyrics. Uh, so we appreciate your, your contribution to that as well. Thank you. All right, give thanks. One love. Yes. Uh, so Madam Chair, again, um, I ask and I... Um, for my colleagues' support on this very important measure where we're paying tribute and recognition. Uh, we had many contemplation, maybe doing a concert, maybe doing something else or whatever, um, you know, to recognize this work. And we still uh, want to make sure that the rest of the Midnight Band, certainly Rani and others too, get their due in appropriate time. Thank you very much for the time and opportunity. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Senator Francis. Uh, any other committee member has a burning question? Senator Fonseca, I see you raising your hand in the chambers. You may proceed with yes. your burning question. Yes, thank you so kindly, um, Madam Chair. Um, I just wanted to ask um, Dale um, Rastjavred, because you know, the band was so prolific, 1,500 songs. Tell us a little bit what went into writing the songs when um you know Vaughn and Thing wanted to write a song what was the process how long it took or he was just naturally talented give us how this give us a scenario of how the songs were being written Irwati aka Rasta Red give thanks for asking that question Vaughn was a special writer and if I sit here and tell you in regards to the writing of Van Benjamin. Van Brain is, he, he functions on the left side of his brain. <laughs> and function on the left side of your brain, you will start to tap into something that normal people will not tap into. We have two sides of our brain, we have the right and the left. Looking at Van, me knowing Van as a spiritual being, not a physical, I always look at him as spirit. The way Van articulate music, I give you an example. I picked Vaughn up, we went to New Mexico to do the current album. And we picked him up at the airport. I said, Vaughn, would you like something to eat? No, I come to walk. <laughs> we go straight to the yes, studio. Sir. And songs was built, wasn't written before. As he reached in the studio, he took a pen. Start right, run the rhythm, right. Stop, go in the booth, 
Next. He didn't hear it back again. By evening, that album was done. And when I listened to the album, Coran, listen to it. The guy with the jewel eyes, that was me. <laughs> the context of this brother, I have seen him left shows two o'clock in the morning and went to studio where I have another show with him the next day. I was there with him, but I was sleeping because I know I have to be ready. Six o'clock the morning when we ride in going back up the road. Five songs done laid down. No one in this history of music I ever saw articulated music like that. As Edmund say, it takes people months to do an album. Van do an album in a day. And I've seen that with my own eyes. So no one can sit here and say, how Vaughn write these lyrics? He's just an educated, good writer, and his brain is working good. And he did great works for the music. Give thanks. Give thanks and praises to the Most High, Jar Rastafari, and thanks to the bill sponsor, Madam Chair Blessings. Yes, I give thanks. Uh, Senator Francis Heiliger, do you have a burning question? Okay, um, there's a, a photo up, and if we could have media put it up. I mentioned earlier that I have two elder brothers. I'm the last of my mother's children. Um, there's my eldest brother. He is seated to the right of Vaughn. He has his finger up, it looks like. That's my eldest brother, Carl Joseph, who Bevan Smith, Mr. Smith mentioned, and seated on the left is my elder brother, Desmond, we call him Shaka Zulu, and of course, in the middle is none other than uh, Mr. Vaughn Akibeka Benjamin. My brothers were big fans, and so was I, because my brothers would come and share the lyrics with me, to reason with me, especially because they, they knew how important I found music to be because it inspires me just like poetry because that's what he was writing and he used that to sing as well as a visual artistry, which is art. So those are my two brothers there and, and I think they kind of resemble, all three of them resemble each other. Thank you so much, Media, for putting up that photo. Uh, is there any other questions? Uh, Senator James Sr., you're recognized. Yes, sir, Madam Chair. It has nothing to do with the resolution. It's just something I want to know. Um, if anyone can tell me this. I know he produced a lot of songs, recorded a lot of, a lot of songs, but like... You know, like Tupac, way after Tupac died, he's still here, like, releasing our songs. So I just want to know if anybody is aware if he has more content, more music out there, unpublished music. And if so, just simply say yes, so we could look forward to hearing more of uh, Benji, man. Yes. Hey, Wati. Ross Jared. Do you know that music is coming out as we speak all now? Every day, go on the internet. Vaughn is here spiritually with us and he's producing the music is coming up more than those are here. I want y'all to listen to me very carefully. I'm going to say this last thing. Jamaica. Vaughn have inspired Jamaica. Let me tell you who the singers are. The last half of what's her name? Uh, Janai. Kabaka Pyramid. Uh, what's the big, the other one? The, the, uh, Chronix. When I was in Jamaica, and when Vaughn was standing talking, all of them was in a circle listening to my brother. All of them. So the influence of Vaughn Benjamin is powerful. I'm being a testimony to y'all today. If y'all never seen it. The way people cry for him. 
the way people ask for him. If you go on the internet, I put, open my phone right now, I'm going to the internet, you're going to see Vaughn every day. So his music is constantly coming out more than people who's here in the flesh. Dance. Next thing I want to say is, there's no, and if, if I say anything wrong, please correct me so I don't say anything wrong anymore. There's no genre of music out there that has music like Vaughn Benjamin. Rap, jazz, R&B, reggae, hip-hop, name it, country, calypso, no one genre out there has music like Vaughn Benjamin. Please, let's take that in consideration. No genre. If Vaughn Benjamin was to ever go on a Grammy, he'd take everything. His, his lyrics, his writing, no one ever wrote for him. Think about that. Those, y'all saying 70-something album, Vaughn got 100 and something albums that he wrote himself. No one have wrote anything for Vaughn. Thank you. So with that said, I want to say thank you for that. I am a fan, and I just, I'm very, I, I'm into music. Like when Daddy Freddy passed away, I know he's a different genre, but he, his, his, his legacy ended right there as far as music. And I'm always interested in finding out, because it tells a lot about the work ethics of the artists. So thank you for placing that on the record. And may his name forever live on unto the family. Thank you for sharing him with the world and for sharing him with the Virgin Islands community. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I don't want to overshadow who we are speaking about today, but you know, I also worked with Trevor Nicholas Friday, another Antiguan, and he was a very powerful man. I know, you know, his legacy still lives on with a number of the, the current musicians today, and I'm sure the same is going to be and is. As you indicated, Mr. Mathi is Wathi. It, it is living on today. That's one thing, you know. You People will have a lot of riches, you know, wealthiest people. But once you positively touch somebody's life, your legacy is ensured to live on from that day into probably eternity, chances are. And I see that the gentleman today who we are honoring, as well as the band, is their legacy is here and is living on. Now I will um, recognize the proponent of this measure, Senator Francis, you're recognized. Oh, thank you very much, Madam Chair. I just really wanted to conclude it by thanking Jeanette uh, Kennedy Gator, his, his sister, um, for working along with my office and putting together the content for the resolution and kind of being the point person um, within the family to to get all of this together and um, have us here today. So I wanted to publicly um, just give thanks to her for her contributions in, the, in that. Jeanette Akanigato. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Again, I want to reiterate and ask for my colleague's support in, in this measure. Um, you know, it's... it's it's quite fitting, and I know that that um, you have an opportunity to give your closing statement. Uh, but you know, while this has been long overdue, I, I believe that the time is right. You know, there's some other um, course of action that we want to take in order for us to to be able to continue to recognize the contribution. And uh, we're talking about uh, maybe the creation of a scholarship uh, fund. We're talking about probably you know um, somewhat of a museum that could be housed uh, some of the content um, involved with, with, with Midnight Ban. Um, you know, we were certainly put on the map um, with Midnight all over the globe. And I agree. I agree that more should have been done um, beforehand. You know, however, it, there's no, no wrong time to do the right thing. You know, so I, I think that there is some opportunity to right the ship and make sure that um, his contributions and the contribution of, of the... Um, can, can I ask those individuals that also uh, played with the Midnight Band to at least stand and be recognized real quickly, if we could just shine a camera? Thank you. Thank you. Again, um, Nidia, if we could just get a shot. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
All the family members, um, if you two could just, just stand real quick. I know that we had asked the, the, um, the children to stand before, but if all the family members could just stand um, real quick and be recognized. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Madam Chair, for the time and opportunity. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. President. I would like to recognize at this moment the presence in the St. Thomas Chamber, Earl B. Ali Chamber of Committee Member, Senator Samuel Carrion. Senator Carrion, welcome and a pleasant good afternoon. Madam Clerk, kindly note uh, Senator Carrion as being present and indicate our voting strength for today. Madam Chair, we have five members present. Thank you so kindly. Uh, Senator Carrion, you're recognized if you have any wish to ask any questions uh, of the testifiers. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. Good morning, afternoon now to my colleagues, um, to the testifiers, everyone who is present in the chambers on St. Croix, the viewing and listening audience uh, today. This is clearly a very good day, a great day indeed, I would say. Um, we know this has been long, long overdue. I want to commend um, the sponsor of this measure. Um, we've had conversations in regards to it, um, even with some of the members of the Federation. So I am um, excited to see that we're finally here and that we will recognize one of our own that has not only contributed locally, but internationally, globally, all over the world, has been recognized and um, has taken the Virgin Islands um, with him everywhere that he has gone. So I want to just express my gratitude to the family um, my gratitude to the members of the band, those that over the years have worked with him um, for allowing him and lending him not only to the Virgin Islands, but to the world. Um, and clearly his lyrics, his songs will live on. And today by, um, by this vote, that I'm also joining in the sponsor of the measure and asking my colleagues for support. His legacy and memory will continue to live on in Frederickstead, and um, we will ensure that um, his story and his legacy will, will continue. I really like the idea of the scholarship. Mr. President, you could count with me. Anything that we can do um, to support, we're here for it. So um, thank you, long overdue, but you were here. It's, it's a good day for the Virgin Islands. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you so much, Senator Carrion. At this time, I'm going to allow Senator Francis Heiliger, you are going to make a comment. No, I'm just waiting to vote. Okay, thank you so kindly. At this time, we allow the testifiers to present some closing remarks. We'll start with you, Mr. Codrington. You start off everything. 30 seconds. If thanks, uh, Madam Chair. Um, I want to recognize the Senate President. He's not sitting here right now, but um, for the initiative, I um, want to recognize Senator Carrion as well, who, when this initiative started, um, an individual, I didn't see him here, Jason Joseph, who came forward and wanted to give recognition to Mr. Benjamin. It was Mr. Carrion we approached, who was the chair of that committee at the time, to have it done. And at that time, all we was trying to do was get permission to build on, on, on the property. It wasn't to get um, any approval from the government. There was, an, there was a movement in the community to honor Vaughn without the government. But where they, they wanted to put the... The, the monument or the recognition, it was government property and couldn't have it constructed without the approval of the government. And it sent us down this path to where we reach here today, Madam Chair. So um, it's a long time coming, nothing before a time. I also want to make mention of Ron Benjamin, whom I knew personally as well. You know, I had a relationship with Ronnie 
I know him, you know, as well. Um, I would stick something on there real quick, you know, because I remember having a conversation with him about where he was getting his inspiration from, and it was surprising the answer he gave me. I never forgot it. He said he, he gets inspiration from Sparrow, you know, so that, that was something that stayed with me. So I, I want to give recognition to Ron Benjamin, whom I knew and had a relationship with, knew him personally, all the members of the band. On behalf of the Ethiopian World Federation, whom I'm here on behalf of the executive committee, the vice president is here along with me. I give thanks to the legislature, to the government, the administration, and everyone here in support of this global figure. Make, it no, make no mistake, Vaughn is a global figure. I don't think the Virgin Islands has produced a more popular individual. Kenya, Africa, South Africa, you name it, they know this brother, and his popularity just continues to grow. So, Madam Chair, on behalf of the EWF, all the brothers here, his family, and all the people that love Benjamin, Vaughn Benjamin throughout the world, I give thanks and want to say I hope we can see this happen in due time. Give thanks. And thank you so much, Mr. Codrington, for those powerful closing remarks. Mr. Wathi? Mr. Wathi, you are yeah, recognized for your 30 seconds closing remarks. Yeah, it's an honor for me and a pleasure to be here and to see something happening. I could feel the fire of my brother. I could feel the fire. I could feel the fire. Because they put in a lot of work. So excuse them when they're expressing. Because it's very important. We know the importance. So for, for each and every one of y'all who taking the time out today to make this happen, whether it's through the government, me, I'm not a two governmental person. The first time I ever come in here, I have to ask the address how to get here. And I live on St. Croix. So let's, let's take that in consideration. Me being here today with Ayo is a blessing. Okay? And maybe I need to come in here some more. Okay? So, to conclude, please, I'm asking, in the name of the Most High, Kadamawe, Haile Selassie, Exide Bear, Masa Ghana, Nigus Nigas, Kadamawe, I, King Selassie, I, Ja, Rastafari, to the family, to his children, the legacy and the work he's put out. Please, please, I'm asking, y'all. Not y'all, y'all are with it, but whoever is going to make that final decision, I'm asking the name of my ancestors to make this go true for us. We need it. I support it 100%. Please, family. My name is Ross Jared. I am from Natural Vibes. House of Rastafari representing today with the ancestors and Van Akibeka on my back. Okay? I love each and every one. Guidance and I text Shan, And I pray that this go forward for the sake of everyone. Bless the love. Selassie. Ja, Rastafari. And thank you so much, Mr. Wathi, for those riveting remarks. Mr. Bevan Smith. You yes. are recognized for your 30 seconds closing remarks. Yes, give thanks, um, Bevan Smith. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the bill sponsor. Uh, even though we had a little delay back in 22, he stuck with it. And, and I actually thought it was over and decided to just do a poem. And, and thank you, chairperson, chairwoman, Carla Joseph, and the vice chair, and everyone else on the virtual internet. Um, I'd just like to say one thing in addition to a scholarship. Because the brother mentioned there's so many more Akebekas around, with the support of this body to maybe have an annual concert in memory of Akebeka to kind of highlight some of the artists, maybe you might want to consider that in the near future. <clears throat> I'd also have to leave with, a, uh, I, I do some poetry myself, and Von Benjamin Akebeka, a musical luminary from Virgin Island Shore, his legacy we see. On polished debut, roots hardcore, St. Croix son, an island lore. A profound wordsmith, global acclaim, yet humility embrace his enduring fame. Amidst flame and glow, he'll quietly stand, no hint of stardom, just a father and son. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Smith, for that poem. That's a very, very powerful poem. Uh, I definitely would like to get a copy of it. <laughs> definitely. And definitely, last but not least, Mr. Armstrong, 
You yes. are you are recognized for your 30 seconds blessed closing remarks. Day, blessed day, give thanks. Give thanks, give thanks for everybody who's showing up. Um, we're going to continue doing what we're doing to tribute our brother. You know, this is our, our life. And we're going to do what we are able to do to see that our brother walks is carry on. Uh, we are a little late, but better late than never. We all are doing our part, the Rastafarian community, the indigenous community, the family, to tribute the brother Von Benjamin Akibeka. And I'm also in doing my part to continue the tribute and maintaining tributing Aki Becker, the music, the band, the producers, the players of instrument. Every Sunday on 101.3 Row FM, you can listen to Aki Becker Sound Station International with the Juggling Bushman, tributing Aki Becker to the wall. Blessed day. And thank you uh, for that testimony as well, Mr. Armstrong. I'm going to tune in. Some day ago, we were on a tour and nothing else they were playing but Midnight Man. And this was, I think it was last week, Monday or so, we were on a tour and the tour bus, they were just playing Midnight Band. I was like, oh, is it Vaughn's birthday? Is it somebody's birthday? Because all I was hearing was the Midnight Band playing that tribute in our community. Awesome. You know, members in the community, you got bus drivers, taxi drivers, you got uh, vendors, uh, shop owners. When you go into a store, you're hearing midnight playing. When you're going to a taxi, you're hearing midnight playing. Even when you're going to a plane, you're hearing midnight playing. So we're doing our best to continue the tribute and the acknowledgement of the works of Aki Becker, the great. And this resolution is one part of it and to keep his legacy and life still burning true. Do I hear a motion? Senator Javon James Sr., you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. On behalf of the bill sponsor, Senator Novelli Francis Jr., I move, I move that bill number 35-0030, an act honoring and commending Vaughn Benjamin posthumously for his contributions to reggae music in the Virgin Islands and the global communities, appropriating $45,000 to the Department of Sports, Parks and Recreation for the design and construction of the Vaughn Benjamin Monument and naming Waterfront Park west of the Marley Homes, the Vaughn Akibeka Memorial Park, be voted out of the Committee on Government Operations, Veterans Affairs and Consumer Protection and be forwarded to the Committee on Rules and Judiciary for further consideration, I so move. Back on. Back in. Bill number 35-0030 has been favorably moved by Senator Javon E. James Sr., seconded by Senator Samuel Carrion, Senator Alma Francis Heiliger. Roll call on bill number 35-0030. Senator Samuel Carrion? Yes. Senator Carrion, yay. Senator Ray Fonseca? Yay. Senator Fonseca, yay. Senator Alma Francis Heiliger? Yes. Senator Francis Heiliger, yay. Senator Kenneth L. Gittins? Senator Gittins, absent. Senator Javon E. James, Sr. Senator Javon, Senator James, Sr., yay. Senator Carla J. Joseph? Yes. Senator Joseph, yay. Senator Milton E. Potter? Senator Potter, absent. Madam Chair, you have five yeas, two absent.
Thank you, Madam Clerk. Bill number 35-0030, an act honoring and commending Vaughn Benjamin posthumously for his contributions to reggae music in the Virgin Islands and the global communities, appropriating 45,000 to the Department of Sports, Parks and Recreation for the design and construction of the Vaughn Benjamin Monument and naming the waterfront park west of Marley Homes, the Vaughn Aki Becker Memorial Park has been favorably voted upon in the Committee on Government Operations, Veteran Affairs, and Consumer Protection and will be forwarded to the Committee on Rules and Judiciary for further action and consideration. We really want to take this opportunity to thank everyone and uh, uh, at this time, I will recognize the bill sponsor, Senator Francis, for your point of personal privilege. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair, for the time. I want to thank my colleagues for the support of this very important measure and also thank, thank the testifiers. I want to thank the family, um, again, for cooperating to move this measure um, forward as well. I know that there have been some unscabbed wounds removed here today, um, but we can't, we have to ensure that the work that have been done by Akibeka, Vaughn Benjamin, is not in vain. It's not in vain, and we continue to pay honor and homage to this great gentleman, and also to uh, you know his, his family, as well as the Midnight Band. Um, so thank you very much for this time and opportunity, and um, again, we have to work collectively to recognize those other individuals that have made their mark in this community as well. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, for the time. God bless. Thank you so much, Mr. President. At this time, we will release all of the testifiers from your testimony before the Committee on Government Operations, Veteran Affairs, and Consumer Protection. The committee will adjourn uh, from formal setting at this time, and we will be going on a tour of the Lieutenant Governor's office in St. Croix. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the media, our central staff, and of course my staff, and the testifiers, those who joined us here in the conference room, as well as those who joined us uh, remotely. And also, I wish everyone a uh, Happy Holy Week. Enjoy your Holy Week. Give thanks to the Most High for all that he has done and he continue to do in our lives. The Committee on Con Op Government Operations, Veteran Affairs, and Consumer Protection meeting for today, March 26, is hereby adjourned.
of the moon. Kila manjaro, roho. Kila manjaro, roho. Kila manjaro, roho. Mount Ansui, Mount Evo. Kila manjaro. Kila 